Hey, girl. Hey. Try not to yell at you. No, you can yell at me. I'm used to it. Oh, do you like it? I didn't say that. I just said I'm used to it. Oh, I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. So what is new with you, girl? What is new with you? Uh, what's new, Scooby-Doo? I come in up for you. Um, so I'm getting ready for my um, two big shows. Three three big shows um, this month. Even You've got though... three shows. Yeah. That's so... three more than me. So there's the black market as usual. Uh huh. Um, then we're doing a Juneteenth uh, all all comedy show. Um, okay. That one's gonna be on um, Juneteenth probably. No, because it's Juneteenth is a Monday, so it's gonna be on the Friday okay. before. Um, our th- it's our theater's first uh time ever having an all all black improv team. Okay. We've never had enough members to do something like that. Um, so that'll be like our kind of our debut. Um, Which is interesting because you. you're in little Haiti. Go on. I know it's, you know, it's the world of improv. People don't associate it with people of color. So it's a, it's a terrible thing, but anyway, and then we're going to have our all queer comedy festival, which um, is the last weekend of June. So there's a lot of stuff I'm prepping for. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you this, actually. Um, July, mm-hmm. they booked me to do to host an event at the Miami Improv. Ooh, fun. Yeah. So I got I got uh, this guy reached out to me the other day. Um, yeah. So this is the first time they've ever done something like that where they've had like actually like a drag, a drag queen perform there um Ooh, so that's I, gonna be interesting hopefully yeah. you don't get um shot at it's not, or something it's not like that here uh, i mean uh, we're uh, not in venues like that so true. yeah so it's got a lot of crap but because of that because i know that you're gonna after we get off of this call you're gonna be like don't be getting pneumonia uh-huh. um I'm trying to take it very easy all oh, the rest of the month. Oh, dear listeners, dear listeners, I also would like to tell, mention that I have asked her five damn times for a calendar of events so that I can start scheduling things with her to make sure she doesn't get the pneumonia again. Has she provided that to me? No. Will she provide that to me? I don't know. We'll see if she touches that cord again and goes on mute. <laughs> I thought I thought about it for a second there, <laughs> on purpose, just to I, I, check out for a minute. I know, girl. I know. I Be alone know. in my thoughts. Be I know. Thoughts. I know. Hey, girl. Yeah. Speaking of constantly berating you, did you know that we have a Patreon? What? Dear listeners, if you go to Patreon.com, Mims a Mame, you can throw some money in Mame. Do you know what we've got going on there? We have got a special treat. We are going to be doing an early release new podcast for a 90s pop culture favorite. That's right, Mame. We are going to do an early release of We Object, which is our Ally McBeal podcast. And if you become a patron, you can even watch it on Vidjo. 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 And we will be in the lightest of drag. Yes. The lightest. I, I will I, it will be sun kissed drag. It will be it will be I mean, Mame doesn't have to do anything. She's always in drag. But <laughs> right now she kinda looks like a black Annie Lennox. Um Oh, that's the nicest <laughs> thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Uh, Dear listeners, isn't that a shame? <laughs> wow. Gosh, now I want to do walking on broken glass. Uh, yeah, well, you should. I love that song. I love that song. I love that video. Yeah. It's one of the best. It really is. She is a drag queen. She's so good. She is so good. So good. Ugh. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you know that we have another podcast? What? 
dear listeners, called Baking Sugar. It's mm-hmm. a designing women podcast. My God, my 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 synapses are already starting to get a little crossed, man. So things are not rolling. your synapses. Yeah, my girl. synapses. My Don't be thin- crossing your synapses, girl, I'm a libel shock myself. That's right. You know what goes on there. You your Ghostbusters what? taught us. <laughs> God, did you ever watch the new Ghostbusters? Oh, the last one with what, the, Paul the, Rudd. No, the women one. Yeah, I liked that. That was okay. What about the Paul Rudd one? I haven't watched that one yet. Okay, I didn't. I, don't know why I mean, I'm I'm more intrigued to watch it now because of it getting a sequel. So I'm like, oh, okay. So well, yeah, because he's a man. That's why it's getting a sequel. Well, no, <laughs> I know that part. Okay, <laughs> just. Just in general, I'm like, okay, well, let me just I mean, see now. I, I tried to watch the all women one and did not think it was funny. Like I, 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 I oh, it is. It was weirdly cast. It was. I, I mean the the, what's it? Who am I thinking about? Um, like Leslie, like what's her name? Yeah, like I like her so much, but it's weird because like I like her so much, but I like her in like. Bits, yeah. Oh, know? and I, I, I would have switched Melissa McCarthy and um. Oh my God, what's her name? Not Kristen Wiig. Um, the more talented Kristen Wiig. What is her name? The more talented Kristen Wiig. Yes, the one who, the one who was in Egon's role. Oh, um, Kate, Kate McKenna. Yes. Kate? Yes. Kate McKinnon. Kate McKinnon. McKinnon. Yes, yes, and I, I, she is the more talented Crystal Wig. Okay. But by, by yes, because she can actually act. I've not heard. I've not heard anybody refer to her like that. Oh before. me, me. No. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the one who does that. <laughs> Except I will give I will give Crystal Wig this. Have you seen Barbara Star go to Vista Del Mar? No, I haven't. Is it good? Hunty, you are missing an hour and a half of your life. You won't get back, and it's worth every minute of that journey. Really? Hey, Mame. Okay. Mame. Yes. Did you know that I'm your hero? I'm every no. I'm everything that you want to be. No. Yeah, it's because I'm white. But also that we <laughs> <laughs> so I showed I showed one of my one of my friends the the, the picture of of the, the the pit crew from Belgium. Yes, and he's like they are very brown for Belgium, and I was like, and I couldn't stop myself. I was like, I know those brown people taking all of our jobs. Your friends, he, your family, your relations, all of them. I know. Just go I away. know. I know, I know, I know. This this was to a Hispanic person too. Um. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, hey, Mame. Yes. Did you know that we have merchandise? You don't say. <laughs> I don't. If you go to bibsway.com, you can buy something. Hey, Mame. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you know what mm-hmm. I love? I know you love five star reviews. I do. I do. Five star reviews, dear listeners. If you like us, if you love us, if you us, love us, if you want some more of us, I tried so hard, I can't rob above us. You what? saying the word hard like triggered me? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can leave us a five star review. We love them. We do actually love them. We, we love giggle. Them. We giggle about them. They make our day. Like this. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> That's how I that, giggle. That is how I read them when you write those ha ha ha's to me. Is actually, that really? Right. Be going ha 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 ha. That's exactly or how I read it. <laughs> no, that sounds more dastardly. <laughs> Maybe I'll start doing it with J E J E J E. Oh, that I'm actually more akin to that one now. And, and anyway. I, but but if it's me sending it to you, you'll probably read it. G G G G G. Yeah, I'd be like, what? <laughs> like, are oh. you speaking? Are you laughing in Spanish? <laughs> I would never do that because it I took can't. me a lot. That, that happened. I mean, I was yeah. like, that's here. People do yeah. it. Ja 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 ja. I'm like, what? 
It took me a while to be like, I, 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 oh. can't, I, I can't speak Spanish, so I wouldn't know what I was doing. This is season three, episode eight, Magnum I felt on that Ice. That happened today at the grocery store. What did? The checkout lady spoke Spanish to me because with my hair this color and the lighting, they're kind of like, what are you exactly? So she just spoke Spanish and I was like, just shook my head like, yeah. <laughs> it's all I said. Well, I'll, you know what you should do? I have a solution for you. Put earbuds in and when she starts talking to you, just point at the earbuds. <laughs> I did have earbuds in. Just point at them like you can't hear. Unfortunately, my earbuds are brown. <laughs> so. Because <laughs> they were on special. Yeah, because nobody oh. wants a brown colored earbud because they look like you got poop in your ear. <laughs> I mean, they would on any, anybody else, but not when your ears are brown. <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. That's fair. I was like, wow, these are $10 cheaper. Yes, I'll get these. <laughs> I love a deal. <sighs> she does. Girl, I learned recently Groupon's still a thing. Stop. <laughs> One of my friends was like, I took a vacation on Groupon. I was like, you did what? Wow. Oh, I hold didn't know the that. phone. He's like, yeah, I, I, I flew. To Puerto Rico using a Groupon. I need to get back on Groupon. And I'm like, uh, what? I bet yeah, there's was, lots was, of stuff out of here from Groupon. There probably is. I hope it's not all those stupid ads for Bimini. Good God. They want everybody here to go to Bimini so bad. I don't know what Bimini even is. I don't either, but there's ads for it all the time. It's like Bimini and gambling, Bimini and this. It's like, well, I know, I know the only Bimini I know is Bamboulash. <laughs> and I, she's not, I love her <laughs> I would love to go to that Bimini Please Please just let me get vaccinated first The nipples are the eyes of the face <laughs> That was your best line of the entire season It was It was Somehow she didn't win Bimini should have won they, they, When that line came out of her mouth They should have stopped the show Right there and said yes. cool we're, don't, we're done We're, we're done. done We are done <laughs> Uh, you've won oh god but no they had to go to lawrence <laughs> lawrence jenny <laughs> i wonder what she's doing now after getting you know taken off of twitter twice because she couldn't handle the pressure she's probably on that osmos what's it called osmos a zempic <laughs> it's a zempic right for me god girl saying... the, old, the only talent she had was being fat what's she gonna do now <laughs> <laughs> Please tell people that you have your you're heavier so that we don't Oh yeah I, I, I am I am I am overweight I am overweight I am heavier I am a woman of size a voluptuous size I and my titties they hang low. <laughs> do your tits hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in the bow? Uh, no, but I probably do it with my nipples anyway. Previously, <laughs> <P.I. laughs> you, you can make your nipples kiss. Do you remember? Do you remember that porn star? That that tig pig porn star. Dear listeners, I apologize for the stench. But he had. <laughs> he had he had the nipples that that had the 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 the, the, the little tips that were like this long. Oh yeah. And he, and he would touch them together. 
That was that, gosh, yes. the late nineties. Late nineties was a weird time in the world. It porn. was so gross. They looked, they looked like little pink cigarette ashes. It was a weird <laughs> time. That was a weird time anyway, in the world of porn. Previously on Magnum PI, we met all these people. I mean, technically, you could, I could see how that. Could... <laughs> <laughs> we met all these people. Dear listeners, hopefully you watched the Magnum P.I. so you could keep up. Right. Um, but the ending is different now. Yes. Because there were two shots. Yes. And Mayfield was found shot in the back mm -hmm. and unarmed. At the end of Magnum P.I., it was he was found because Magnum shot him because yes. he was being shot at. Yes. So the way that I read this was Jess was in the first one and took it back to write her own murder mystery based on this. I could see that. Or Higgins and JB met, did a little boomson, and wrote two different novels. That's some boomson. Some boomson. Uh, I, you know... I think a wonderful spinoff would have been Higgins and JB solving mysteries together after this. Uh, it's okay. I, I would have rather had her and what's his doodle. Doc. No, 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 no. Um, the, the, uh, uh, McGraw and the law. That uh, What's his name? <laughs> what's his name? Harry. Harry McGraw and the law. But what's his name? No. I, I mean, Jerry Orbach. Jerry Orbach. I think. I don't I know that to me, because because they didn't really have the same kind of like sexual tension. Oh, you want to be sexual? <laughs> I want a little bit of sexual. T I want it to be like an elderly version of moonlighting, right? Like, will they or won't they? And then will they or won't they die soon? Like, like you know. <laughs> I want multiple. Will they or won't they die soon? Just multiple. Will they or won't they? That's what I want. Anyway, we're at the police <laughs> station, <laughs> and Magna PI is going to be booked on murder one. Oh my gosh, this is not what most Americans want. <laughs> oh God. And Captain Browning is taking the case personally. Dang. He oh, really hates Magnum a lot. He hates him. Did he hate him in the show? I mean, he was just like a, it was like Magnum was just kind of like a pain in his side. Gotcha. Like it wasn't, it wasn't, they turned it up a bit on here. Like that, okay. even for me, when I watched it, I was like, wow, he's, his character has been like a lot get extra. just over the dude with the nipples. I'm still, <laughs> it's still into my mind. What is his name? Uh, I'm so sorry. Hey, Google. I, no, no. This is Google's hey, gonna Google. Say, Google's going to say no. It's hey, Google. Okay, your, Google. Your phone's going to commit suicide. Who's the man with the huge nipples? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's, Joe Jonas reacts to virtual rumor that Nick Jonas has huge nipples. Wow. They aren't that big. Oh, I think that guy's name was Cole Tucker. Cole Tucker? That was fast, girl. Honey, all I remember, all I had back then was like watching other people have have sex. It's not like mm -hmm. it's not like I had a, it's not like I it's not like I've ever had a illustrious, <laughs> illustrious, gigantic sex life. Is that that is him. That's him. That's him. Good job, girl. They don't look like they should be that big when he's just. And... <laughs> Nick Jonas doesn't have huge. That's nipples. what I said. That's what I said. Oh, uh, I miss Dad Bod Nick Jonas. Oh Ooh. yeah. Good. No, we probably should make that. That little period of time where he got a little bit pudgy and. <sighs> so JB cuts in and says Mayfield was hired to cut somebody. Oh. And the captain's like, no, 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 no. He was a guest at the party. The gun that, that, that sound right. The gun that shot Mayfield was a forty-five, which is the same okay. gun that Magnum had, but the bullet <gasps> the bullet was smashed in the spine, so it, they can't do ballistics on it. 
darn it, that stupid spine. But they they also couldn't find Mayfield's gun, so they don't even think he had a gun. What? They did find find find. <laughs> Girl, when you get tired, I tell you, they did find two shells <laughs> matching Magnum's gun. Two shells. Dose shells. Dose shells. Dose corn corn shells corn shells. Oh, girl! Don't you don't you don't you want some Mexican corn real bad? No, no, you can't, can't eat corn. That's such a sh- don't you want some candy corn real bad? It's made with corn syrup. I know, I know, I know. Can you eat corn syrup? I mean, remember, I'm allergic to so many things that something like corn syrup is not as bad for me. I, 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 re- I remember the time we went to the place. I was like, no, no, don't eat that. It's got corn. You're like, eh. Well, because remember, it's on a scale, right? So corn is a three. And what's interesting, though, is that <laughs> three out of a three out of nine. But what's interesting is that corn and soybeans are both on the same number. Okay. But they both have a, they have a very different effect on me. Okay. Um, and so corn itself generally makes me um, stuffy. Whereas soybean based stuff makes me sneeze a lot. Okay. Um, so yeah. So yeah. So you know, in- you know, if you're ever getting ready to have surgery or something, you have to tell them you have a soybean allergy. Yeah, I know. Okay. Because a lot of the anesthetics. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Okay. It's on all my stuff. Like everything I've ever done, it's you know. Okay. It's, I got. I'm not. I girl, I ain't trying to have some kind of messed up thing like that happen. What? I already don't want to have surgery, and then I ain't going to be sticking some soybeans up in my body now. Come on. Not some soybeans, and I quote, up in my body. Soybeans up in my body. Uh, Soybeans up in my body, y'all. Soybeans up in my body. Uh, Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle now. Wiggle. (laughs) We did a song last night for the musical called Class Give me that miso. Give me that miso. What? And so we did a song last night for the musical called Classy and Assy. <laughs> it was. Oh, hi, dog. It was a bit, it was a bit much. Girl, I'm going to pause in a second. The dog is coming here and wants to eat. Oh, okay. I'm going to Hey, girl, I'm back. Back, back, back again. And if she want to be a freaking, a selling on the weekend. It's none of y'all business. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you shouldn't be getting into who I'm giving skins to. Because it's none of y'all business. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. So the captain says the bail hearing will probably take forever, girl. Oh. Yeah. Why is that? Well, because he's going to stall it. But he's... um... He's being a quite a quite a, he, a thing. He is. He is. He's being a thing, a miss thing, girl. A miss thing. What? I'm not even talking girl. about. <laughs> oh, did you watch any of the um, the 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 cooking the cooking the the party planning one on Hulu? No, I have not watched it yet. It okay. I, I'm, I'm I haven't either. I'm gonna double check with my husband to see if he wants to watch it or not. Because he, honest to God, cannot stand Neil Patrick Harris and hates his and can't stand his husband even worse than he can't stand Neil Patrick Harris, which is fair. Hold on, I think my thing went out. It did. Are you, it. are you back? Hold, hold on. I can still hear you. I know, but you're hearing me through like the um, the other end. So it's like, it's not as good. I mean, I don't know if... uh, I'm going to stop it for a second. Girl, don't touch that cord now. Yes, mother. Don't touch that cord now. Yes, mother. Don't touch that cord now, girl. Lord, don't be... be Dear listeners, we've had some issues, some technicality issues. Technicals. Some technicals. Because Ma- Mame refuses to um, treat her items with the respect that they're entitled to. What you mean? <laughs> um. Don't 
Don't start. I Don't do what I, I do. What I hey, but well, we're back at the mansion. The mansion. Um, Higgins, Higgins sees JB. JB just shows up in a cab. And he's like, well, "Where's Magnum?" And we find out that the ladies are all going to go to the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Oh yeah, which that is a fancy, which is a real hotel. Oh, it's still a Sheraton. Yeah, it, you you see it in the thing. It's a Sheraton, but and it's still one. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's in Waikiki. Waikiki, 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 Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. So Higgins still thinks that he was the target for the for Mayfield. He still Higgins wants it to be about him. So he does. Bad. He does. And JB says a phrase that is a real phrase. I know you sewed a lot of dragon's teeth back in the day. Yes. At what point, man, we're going to get through this damn recording. <laughs> oh, I was singing him. No, I said, Lord, you need me to sing you a hymn right now on Sunday? Because apparently you don't want us I, to record this podcast. I don't think the 5G is handling it right now. So I was singing, I was singing, I was singing a hymnal just then to the Lord. I said, if you let me get through this, I will sing you to you right now. Anyway, so they're at the and Royal. Back, so there you go. They're at the Royal Hawaiian. That sounds fancy. So JB asks Higgins to get Magnum, no other way around. Higgins asks JB to get Magnum out of jail. Okay. Mm-hmm. So she also JB asks Higgins to drop her by Jason Bryan's place, who you will remember as Jones man friend. <laughs> yes. So she, she was not doing stuff with. She arrives. JB arrives and she starts snooping. She goes in the garden shack and finds another slug. Oh, yeah. Slugs are all over the garden. Slimy slugs. This isn't that kind of slug. This is a bot. <laughs> a scandal. A scandal. <laughs> Shouldn't do that with my mic. Um, no. The moisture's no. bad for it. Girl, you're going to have one of them black church mics where after a while it's going to be crusty from all the spit, honey. If my oh, lips I, could I've... go above my nose, it would have right then. <laughs> Saying, I've, I've seen those microphone covers. <laughs> so JB asks about Joan. Okay. And, and Jason says they were just friends, nothing more. They never had the sexuals. Never. So Jason must be a confirmed bachelor. Could, did you get that? Did you get that feeling as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mayfield. Subtext. Mayfield was not a friend, but he was there at the party. And Jason arranges parties for, you know, people to attend. Mm. Oh, people. People, yes. Yes, important people. people. He's, he's a party planner. For people. For people who need people. Girl, I heard no. a thing about them. They're the luckiest people in the world. Oh, wow. Really? Children. Children. Yeah. Okay. Needing other children. Okay. Specific. Are the luckiest people in the world. Oh, my gosh. That explains so much about my you bad know, luck. You know, girl, that is the one song. I don't know why I never did people in drag. Probably because it's a very boring song. Mm hmm but see that's the kind of song that you would have done had you stuck with drag for 20 years and then like, like right about now was, right like it would have been like your flex anniversary show yeah because then it would have been i was just talking to a person about this it would have been a park and bark where like it would just be you yeah. and a spotlight and then just people lining up to bring you their money a park and bark i love a good park and bark I do too, Gunner. Girl, if you are confident enough, Queen, to do a park and bark, bless you. Uh -huh. Bless you. Uh huh. Nobody uh -huh. here does park and it's barks. It's true. They don't. Dude, wait, you say nobody down there does park and barks? No. Why not? I mean, because when they do do a park and bark, it's like always like the same type of park and bark, which is almost like uh, a black queen doing like a gospel number. Mm -hmm. And 
then she herself gets so caught up in the song that she can't even do a park and bark herself because she starts taking <laughs> she starts taking on the properties of that yeah. gospel song. Yeah, she can't even do the park and bark because she the spirit gets all on her. God. So mama, 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 Mame got to watch that when we went to Lips during the during the the brunch. No. Oh yes, Penny. <laughs> oh yes. We went to that brunch and like it used to be a gospel brunch and now it's just a regular brunch. Uh-huh. But they do like a couple of the girls still do some gospel numbers. And my mother got to watch one of them girls get the spirit all over her. And I'm telling you right now, you you let me tell you, that had an effect on her. When she saw that, that had an effect on her. Cause she really? was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. They up here ministering up in the lips. Hold on. Yes. Yes, ma'am. She did. I'll never forget that. And that little that that girl, she was feeling every bit of that song. Kept that little kitten wig on. She was shaking that thing for all it's worth. Not a little kitten like, wig. Well, you do, honey, they can't be wearing big wigs when they do those park those gospel parking bars. No, they can't. No, they can't. They can't. <laughs> cause they cause they go and shake it off of them. <laughs> did she lose her shoes? Yes. Come on now, you are now. <laughs> she pulled the patty right quick. Oh Lord! <laughs> I need to go back to lips. <laughs> we didn't go there, did we? We didn't. We're gonna go next time. It's okay. a fun show. It's okay. a fun show. You know, I, I I love a good show. Yeah, they are a hoot. <laughs> and anyway, so we're back at the police department. Mm. And JB gives the captain a shell, and it's a nine millimeter as opposed to a forty-five. Wow, that's I don't know what that is, but it's fine. <laughs> I never understand gun terminology it's, in these shows. It's it's bigger. A nine millimeter is bigger because I think forty-five is point four five millimeter. Once again, I'm going completely off of your lead here. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, and you just go with it. Okay, cool, awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so much bigger. <laughs> It's bigger on the inside, girl. <laughs> and then it explodes. <laughs> so JB. Mm, <laughs> so JB demands talk to Magnum. I just had the first. <laughs> what girl? <laughs> I just was like, I guess you could say that bullet really blew his back out. Like, just... <laughs> she suggests that she's going to talk to the governor. If he does not, if he does not let her talk to him immediately. Yes, because Jessica is very close with the governor of Hawaii. Apparently so. Apparently so. Well, well, she is a celebrity. <laughs> A celebrity, you say? Yeah, so I'm sure if they said, hey, governor of Hawaii, famed author Jessica Fletcher is online too, and she's got a bone to pick with you, I'm sure he drops everything he's doing right then to say, give me that phone. Just give it to me. Because I love talking to celebrities. (laughs) I love talking to celebrities too. They're my favorite. So JB JB goes talk to Magnum. Yes. There's not been a hearing for bail yet. Mm -mm. And they discuss logic. One thing Magnum does reveal to her is that he, Arthur Houston probably set up the party because he's in charge of Pack Isle. And that's where Amy went that morning. That's right. That's right. Because he was like, he confronted her there. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, no, he didn't confront her there. Well, not confront her, but like. Oh, the, who confronted who? Didn't he? Wasn't that on the Mag- Am I getting the Magnum episode confused with the? No. no Ma- Magnum saw to- her there. She dropped something off at the security guard. That's it. Okay. Yeah, these two worlds are starting to crisscross in my brain. Well, you know what crisscross you know what does? I would, I would... Jump, jump. <laughs> Makes... And do you know what the Daddy Mac does? Jump, jump. Mm-hmm. I would have loved an episode kind of like... um just like how they had Jessica in prison, I would have loved a Magnum in jail kind of episode 
where it would have been a little bit of some subtext and some dirty jokes. Oh, yeah. I yeah, would yeah, yeah. love that. Those little shorts he always wears. Ugh. So Those now. are amazing. They're a national treasure. <laughs> they are a national treasure. They are. NASA should study those things. No. Girl. <laughs> oh, he's tall. I didn't realize that, that Tom Selleck was that tall. Yeah, Tom Selleck's that, Tom Selleck's that makes so short. The make that makes the shorts. That gives him like a completely different context. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. He's he's a tall man, girl. Good gracious. Six foot four in those tiny, tiny ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean that they, they right now he would be very in style. Oh, no, it would be. I mean, because those are bad. Yeah, they call them Hoochie Daddy shorts. Yeah, I've got a pair. Come on now. Come on now. Girl, you saw me in them. That's true. I have a pair also, but I'm so short. They're not really Hoochie Daddy. That, I tell you. So, <laughs> that's true. I did see you in them. That's right. I, I just forgot, girl. Don't. You know how long it's been since I've seen you now. It's been a bit. It hasn't been that long, girl. It's been a bit. It hasn't been a long time. Think about my week to week. <laughs> think about, think about, think about, I can't I'm help it that I just ordered pizza. Oh, so that's why I was a little distant, but I'm back full fledged and ready. <laughs> Speaking of pe- pizza, it's pulling that picture of Nick Jonas again. Mm-hmm. Back with you was a little you bit. You could eat my pizza. Yes, you had any. Oh, stuffed crust, girl. Stuffed crust. Tag us out, chicken wings. Anyway. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> you want the dry or the wet rub? Dry. <laughs> well, it's going to start off dry. Then we'll add some <laughs> sauce a little later on. Anyway, we are at Houston's. Crispy. The extra crispy. <laughs> Girl, we're at Houston's, okay? Yes. And JB confronts about Amy. And she's like, you know her and the man who tried to kill her. What? It was arranged at your request. Mayfield is on one of your employees. What? And Houston's like, I think you should leave Hawaii soon because eventually people find out that the weather doesn't always agree with them. Not very nice. That was a, I I felt like that was the best. That was one of the best like villainy kind of like one liners that they've had on this show in it's a true. while. It's true. Everybody's not th- that evil on these shows. He's a very bad man. Yeah. So we're back at the hotel, and it's Higgins and JB walking mm-hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. They're walking. They're walking. They're walking. They're back. <laughs> they're walking. They're walking. Walk, walk, walk. Jesus. And Higgins is like, a forty-five automatic was stolen with a silencer. I did not check like I should have, but it was stolen. Your Higgins impression is perfect. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I need to part my hair a little bit. God, here we go. I don't, I've got too much hair for this. <laughs> I, th- I thank the dear Lord that 43 has not gotten rid of my hair. It turned all gray. <laughs> but, it's still, but it's still there, Henny. It's, it's still there. I will tell you, girl, I have very thin, like I've got a lot of hair, but it's very thin. Mm-hmm. So whenever I wash my hair, it looks, it looks like I'm balding. It always has. But when you get to a certain age... It freaks, starts freaking out a little bit more. It's like, am I, am I, am I bald? Am I bald? Am I getting bald? I mean, I do wonder, like, what is that crossover period? Because it seems like there's the people that, I mean, we have those friends, right? They went bald in their 20s. Mm-hmm. And then there's, like, those people that go bald in their, like, 50s, I guess it yeah. is. Like, yeah. it's just weird because you can't tell. Like, even if a person has all their hair now, it could still... Yeah go away later my grandfather had hair till like death yeah in his he 60s had, he had, your grandfather had beautiful hair he did like for for a man like yeah. he had beautiful yeah. hair yeah. Yeah. use that brillo cream every day to slick it down i tried that once i didn't like uh, it. No, that's that's very 50s that's very 50s because I was watching all those stupid movies, and I was like, I should try that. And then I found that it was still a product that really existed. Uh-huh, yeah. And 
but nobody for well nobody would have warned me because i didn't do this on my own but nobody said that oh it's like a grease that doesn't actually dry yeah yeah that's what i was like oh <laughs> the first time i did it i was like wow this stuff's really um slippery and really greasy i'm like when you're and then it <laughs> no it doesn't like, dry oh. And it has a little bit of a smell. It does. I actually don't mind the smell, but that's because it's that's because it reminds me of youth, right? Right. I'm just like, huh, okay. Yeah, no, I said it didn't work for me. Thankfully it didn't cost that much. So JB's like, who do you think could have stolen it? Higgins like, what's well, Gobby one of the ladies or Jason Bryan? They were the only ones there who could have stolen mm -hmm. it. Well, Pam's here. Hey, Pam. Hey, I hi. really dislike her in this episode. She comes in yeah. with a package. And she, she's it's for Amy. It's Amy's package, and she's holding on to it. It's a cookbook for her aunt. Oh. And hey. JB, JB's like, this is awful light for a cookbook. Maybe it's a diet cookbook. Ha, 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 ha. She hands waka, it to waka. She it, It's got a noise when you shake it, and JB opens it up, and it's some beautiful costume. Jewelry. <laughs> I was at first I thought you know if this was any other series it would have been a bomb <laughs> any other show it would have been a bomb it's true it's true girl if you ever get a chance to find it yes go out there on the YouTube and look up uh, the seal Heidi Klum um, spy movie that uh uh mad tv did oh no good god woman why are you so loud it's so... i forgot all about the fact that they were a couple they oh yeah yeah, yeah. it didn't last very long wow yeah gosh i wonder i mean and they had kids together they did so wait i wonder if those kids are models like her first daughter i, I, don't, I don't know kids models Let's see. Uh, they might still be quite young. They wouldn't be that young. They divorced like a decade and a half ago. Has it been that long? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they're not that young, actually. Like the one of them, the son is as tall as Heidi, or she's taller than Heidi. 18, 17, 16, and 13. Yep, you're right. That's wild. Ooh, I love the, it. The, the sun's got Seal's face. Yeah, he does. Good creatures. Henry. Yeah. I kind of love the fact that they've kept their kids kind of private. Yeah. That's nice. Anyway, Amy comes in and says, next time I ask you to keep something for me, mm -hmm. don't open it, bitch. And she <laughs> takes it and leaves. <laughs> I mean, jeez. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, 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 not at all. I mean, it's a, uh, you know, not, not at like, all. Like, oh, God. So we, we, we pan downstairs to the front lobby. Mm -hmm. And there's the Sheraton Royal Hawaiian symbol right there. So we know we're in a Sheraton. Good branding. Good branding. I'm not going to stay at the Sheraton. I'm staying at the La Quinta next time I come down. Just La reminding you. La Quinta, La Quinta with the other drag queens and the peers. The peers. The peers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, my husband still doesn't understand like why you just don't crash at our house. Like, like I've tried, I tried to explain him how you are and he's still just like, I don't understand. I'm like, what if I, what not... if I want to leave in the middle of the night? Right. That's what I told him. Then I have to deal with two dogs barking at me. Right. A you who's still going to be up and going, girl, where are you going at four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? What was that? What was that? Don't make me get out of my massage chair. What? Where are you going? Hey, Google. Hey, hey Google. Where is the divine Miss Mims going at four o'clock in the morning? Down you better give me her search history, honey. 
Dear listeners, not that I would, not that any of this would happen, not that I am going anywhere at four o'clock in the morning. If I am going somewhere at four o'clock in the morning, Mame is probably driving because we had, just come, <laughs> we, we had just come back from Wilton Manors. But like, <laughs> in case, just in case I get a craving for Dunkin' Donuts at four o'clock in the morning, if there's one open at four o'clock in the morning. There's not, but there's a 24-hour Krispy Kreme nearby. There you go. Then I, what if I want a coffee? What if I can't sleep and want a coffee at 4 o'clock in the morning? And I don't want to deal with dogs barking at me or maim judging me. That's what I'm saying. I mean, why are you yelling at me? I'm yelling at your husband. <laughs> Hello. 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 There's a Hello. call for Joan. There's a call for Joan. If Joan will please pick up one of the lines. Joan goes, picks up a line. Hello. Hello, who is this? And the, there's a man who turns around and says, Hello. Since we're right here, we might as well just talk in Ooh. person. I love it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're outside, and Amy's talking to JB. We mm -hmm. find out that she has a husband named Victor. Victor. Who is very possessive. Okay. Okay. We find out that Pamela got her the job as Joan's secretary, but Pamela doesn't really understand any of the bullshit that's going on, right? Yeah. Like, she just doesn't get it. And we find out that Joan sent Amy to Pack Isle. And that the, the jewels, those fake real jewels, are Amy's from her grandmother. And the only thing she really has left to start a new life. Oh. Mm -hmm. Every time she says that, I, I have to keep reminding myself that it's important and it's a family heirloom and that she's planning to sell them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like, she's like, these mean so much to me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like. But you just want them because you're going to sell them, right? Why didn't you put them in a bank vault? Exactly. Like, why not keep them in a in a safety deposit box somewhere? Mm -hmm. Like, that... Uh, 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 mm -hmm. I guess people stupid. Mm -hmm. Dumb white woman. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Look, it's a trope. So they go inside, a a Amy and JB, mm -hmm. and it's Victor. It's Victor. Hello, Victor. Hi. A, a, a friend saw Amy and called him for her. Yeah. This part did make me a little bit more uncomfortable than her, her than a normal yeah. murder she wrote because I was like, Ooh. yeah. And there's there's a very uncomfortable tension, and Higgins like she doesn't want to talk to you. And so Victor goes off, Amy goes off a different way, and Joan's mm -hmm. like, well, you know, if Amy doesn't want you, I'll, I'll definitely take you, baby girl. You real hot, and you, you kind of creepy, but I like that, and you can get real creepy with me. I thought that part was really uh -huh. weird. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> wow. I like hey everybody this is not probably what you want so in a Vic relationship Victor leaves and JB's like Higgins take me to see Magnum Joan you go protect Amy okay <laughs> yes literally it was like oh okay yeah fine whatever I don't care <laughs> maybe I'll plug in my vibrator when I get home um that's what they call the bellboy. That's that's not this scene, but it's the next scene. <laughs> Sneak preview. So we're in the jail. And JB and Higgins talk to Magnum. Yes. And they're trying to figure out who killed Mayfield. Mm -hmm. Right? And they're, they're talking about things, just chit-chatting. And... Uh, Magnum's like, you know, I really like that book, but I figured out pretty early on it was the psychiatrist that was the killer. And JB was like, no, it was the lawyer. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> I 
I think that um, uh huh. It's a, it's such an interesting mystery because I I mean I I I feel like that's this why, is that's, a that's why that's why that's why what we're in for right now. No, no, I know that part. Don't be a dick. Um, well, I mean, you can't help it, but um, it's so funny to me whenever we watch these, and I I think about this one probably more so because the cops haven't been that bad lately, right? But it's so funny to me when you have these police officers on these shows that really don't actually want the mystery solved. Like they have a vendetta, <laughs> they have a grudge to bear. And it's like, I just, it's just weird to me. Cause I think, is this what it's literally like in that world? No, no. It's just a lot of white cop. It's just a lot of white cops being mean to black people. That's all it is. <laughs> I, I was about to say white cops. So it doesn't matter. All the cops are just mean. To black. They're people. all bad. Yeah, they're in. Oh, you know. did you hear? No, oh, God. So, in New York, when setting up for Pride oh. and stuff, oh. the police had shirts. On the back of the shirts, it said, All colors are beautiful. A cab. <laughs> Whoever designed those shirts gets a gold star. Um, dear listeners, if you don't know what ACAB is, you can go look that up someplace else. We're back at the hotel. And Joan has a little bellboy in there who brought her bags or something to her. And she's like, hey, here's a here's a 20. Here's a 20. A 20. Well, I, I, I'd love a massage. No, you don't. Not, not with the masseuse, baby. You've got some strong hands and an okay face. Let's do this. Let's 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 do this right now. A twenty. Let's let's. You want to make it ten? We I can give you a ten instead if you prefer it. Um, I thought he was good looking. I thought he was good looking. It's okay. I guess he's twenty dollars good looking. What? I guess he's twenty dollars good looking. So JB busts in. The dude escapes. He's. He, she's like, well, I guess you know towels and pocket pockets the 20 he does hey, you can never get enough towels in these rooms uh, jb hey by the way amy ain't in a room i tried to check on her but i guess she's out having some fun gosh rubber sheets would have transformed her life so jb confronts joan about the note to author and joan's like we own a lot of patents and jason bryan was my middleman setting this all up so yeah whatever um bye <laughs> so it's a little bit later at Houston's. JB decides to go up and go there. Oh no, Houston's dead. <gasps> we we pan we pan to the little the 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 cop. I don't know what his name. Not the captain, but the cop. And I don't know if you mm -hmm. notice this. He's got a huge fly on his forehead. No, <laughs> yeah, I missed that. Yeah, it's just like this huge fly right here. I'm like, how many takes they have to do? Try to get this fly out of the shot and like. It's when he picks up the uh, the Magnum Magnum's cap. So Magnum's cap is it. there. Okay. Um, we find out that Magnum's out on bail. He's been out on bail for a few hours, and we have the slug, and we know it's another forty-five, so we can get a match with the gun. Whoa, Magnum! Did you actually kill these people now? For and JB's real? He's like, I have some theories. I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to spin them around. So, <laughs> pew 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 pew. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> ah. So we're at the hotel. We're at the hotel, girl. We're at the hotel. And JB draws a nice bath. Yes, she does. There's a noise. <gasps> oh, no. It's Magnum. Oh. They go back and forth with each other, and he just looks at her and says, nice robe, and they giggle. <laughs> it's like the moment everybody's been waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All of these, all these older women are sitting there, like, oh, they're together. <laughs> I want, I want him to catch me in the bath. Oh, Mrs. Magnum. Oh, <laughs> you and those little Schultz. <laughs> so, he he lost his hat with the day everyone arrived at the estate. Mm. And he went to go see Higgins when he was out on bail, so he 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 doesn't have an alibi for where he was the past couple hours. Oh no! Yeah, we're running back and forth, y'all. 
Back and forth. So it's a little bit later on. (laughs) Rat a luau with some. Yes. Here are the hot mans. No, they were very, very handsome men. I, 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 I do love a luau. I bet I love a luau too. I love a luau. I there's something about getting some, some getting oiled up, on. some some short buff oiled up men. I have a friend that performs here uh-huh. um, in the in these. My friend, uh, uh, he's a comedian, uh, Zach Burgeon, and um, he. Uh, I didn't know he did that when I, but he's not short. He's like six four. Oh, so it's very. It's, it's unusual because yeah. most of them are not that tall. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was doing a video from one the other week. They had a cultural festival thing, so it was so funny when he said that. I was like, "Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Zach's not actually short. Is he buff? He's buff enough. Okay, I'll send you his Instagram. You know, you know, I, I do, I do love a good thought on Instagram. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a look, a look, see, and judge. <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just looking. So. Uh, JB shows up at the luau and she sees Pamela and Jason chit-chatting with each other. JB joins them and confronts Jason about the commission he would have gotten had the deal have gone through. Mm-hmm. And Jason's like, Jones thinks she's so smart, but she's really not a good businesswoman. She kept on bringing the, like, asking for more and more money, to which JB's like, well, if he's going to pay, then obviously she's shrewd, Right. Right. So Jason, Jason's like fine by. <laughs> <laughs> so we find out that Pamela called Victor. That that's that's she misread the situation and called Victor for mm-hmm. Amy because Pamela's an idiot. Yes, we've 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 arrived. We've. That's a well-established part of this episode. Yeah. So it's later on. Oh, and it ends with one dude standing on another dude very sensually. I mean, it wasn't that sensual. Oh, it was sensual to you. Okay. That's like, was it? To quote Katya, I flicked that bean for three hours watching that. I don't think anybody here wants you to talk about flicking your bean. No. Nah. So JB's walking back to her room. It's a lima bean. And she see mm, It's a great northern. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> no, it's fava. It's a fava bean. <laughs> I do love a nice Chianti. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> Um, so she's at Amy's room and it's been broken into, girl. Oh, no. Amy's here. She's like, what are you doing in here? And JB's like, oh, my God, you were broken into. I was calling security, but the phone's been pulled. Victor shows up with a crowbar. Yes, and he got real, real quick. He's like, this crowbar broke the door down. It can break your head in. JB's Mm -hmm. like, I wouldn't do that. There's somebody behind you. He's like, you really think I'm going to fall for that? It's Higgins, and he does this weird karate thing. Yeah, he does sometimes. Yeah, oh God. And then, like, he he drops the crowbar, and JB kicks the crowbar in those little slingbacks, knowing she would have gotten four bloody toes had she have done that. Right. Yes. Victor <laughs> runs. And it's a little bit later on, and JB cleans up the wounds. And Amy gives Higgins the jewels to put into the vault. You know, like you should have the first time. Yeah. Amy's going to pack up and going to leave. Right? Yeah. And, like, as as she's leaving, she leaves the room. And Higgins like, Magnum wanted me to trail Amy because he thinks she's going to sell the jewels. And, oh, by the way, Joan posted bail for Magnum. <sighs> And they lift up the jewel box. It's empty, girl. She it did sell the jewels. Girl. Girl. <laughs> A scandal. A scandal. <laughs> so JB sends Higgins to go follow Amy. 
And JB is going to go into Joan's room okay. after she leaves. So Joan leaves in a cute little black outfit. Her hair. Joan looked fantastic this episode. Let me just tell you, Jessica Walters, you look great. She did. She did. She looked great. So she goes to Joan's room after she leaves, gives the maid like 20 bucks to let her in. And the maid's going through college and needs help. And it's like, I'll get you a key. And JB's just like, no, 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 no. I just want in my room. You go go away. Go away. It's I'll find it. We're good. I just I left my key in this room. That's not even mine. Just go away so I can snoop. So Joan Joan gets downstairs and the front desk is like, oh, the maid just called. Here's your spare key. Mm-hmm. Joan goes back upstairs. JB is like, oh, look, I busted into this room to get some aspirin because pa- Pam, just I don't know where she put mine. And, you know, I'm here for aspirin. I see you're leaving, Joan. You're right, I am. <laughs> And JB's, I just need to do a few things before I leave. Oh, you need to get rid of the gun and the silencer, girl? Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, it was you. It's you. It's always you. <laughs> Everything <laughs> you do, you do it all the time. Um, you t- Basically, JB's like, Joan, it had to be you. You took the cap before... Mayfield was killed. You wanted to frame uh, uh, Magnum like Mayfield wanted to kill you. I just don't understand. Look, I was angry. I made this company from nothing and I owned all the patents. And then the the car, I was going to come here and here, confront Houston for one last time. But then he had the car try to knock me off the road. So I had to kill him. It was the only thing that he would understand. There's someone outside, girl. There's in little white Reeboks. It's Magnum. What? You know what? I'm pulling out this gun and I'm going to end this for you too, JB. Men always underestimate me. And I have to take care of you. And Magnum's going to take the... Blame for this one, too. Magnum shows up, and he's like, look, Joan, I called the police before this, so they're going to be right over here because they're looking for me. And the, the police knock on the door, knock the door down, and, like, Magnum steals the gun. Joan shoots the door. Magnum steals the gun out of her hand. And JB's as police come in. No, no, I'll explain everything. Yes, because if Magnum kept talking, it would have just gotten really bad. And worse and worse and worse. Yup. So it's later on. We find out that no one actually called the police, but someone saw Magnum on the ledge and called them. Yep. Um, we find out Victor was arrested. Amy has the jewels back. The jewels were actually hers. Um, we, we get up to the car and Higgins wants to take just the airport alone, alone girl, maybe a little roadhead. We'll see. Uh, wait, he going to do that to Jessica? Yeah, girl. Hers is bigger. <laughs> and Magnum is like, Hey, let's make a deal. You don't take out a PI license and I won't buy a typewriter. Do, 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 do. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you enjoy this episode? Yes. I did too. I <laughs> did too. It was better than the Magnum PI episode. No, it was. I mean, it's better writers. So. And I, I wish there'd been a little bit more Jessica Walter, right? I, I, I wish Pamela had been the killer and Jessica Walter had been... But I, I knew she. No, would that would not have been the same. I, no, I just, I just like Jessica, Jessica Walter is made to be a killer. God damn it, Archer! <laughs> I mean, literally, like, she's made to be a killer. It's true. I mean, she's it's true. you know, it's true. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, I lost things. We're good. 
So there, Mame? I'm still, I'm right here. Yeah. Okay, good. Did you hear all that? I did. I watch so our dear listeners where they can find you. <laughs> sure. Um, hello. <laughs> hello, dear listeners. Uh, it is I, Auntie Mame, your favorite relation. Uh, you can follow me on the social media. They can follow Auntie you? Mame. Follow me on the social media. Uh, at Auntie Mames with an S. Uh, you can follow me also um, in real life. So if you're down here in the Miami, South Florida area, uh, I perform with the Villain Theater. It's an improv and comedy theater located in Miami. More about them at VillainTheater.com. I host the amazing Colossal Karaoke co- uh, Show at Killer Rital, which is located in South Beach in Miami. Uh, and if you want to... F- Watch us online. We have the It's Happening Out talk show, uh, which is myself and a lot of other uh, queer members of the community where we do a weekly talk show. More about them at It's Happening Out on YouTube and all of your social media handles. Uh, what about you, Mims? Hey, y'all. I'm the Divine Miss Mims. You can find me online at Divine Miss Mims. And dear listeners, I'm now mm-hmm. a little bit more active on TikTok and YouTube. I have a daily devotional with the Divine Miss Mims. I have four of them out now, I think, and I'm going to keep going for as long as I can think about them. Oh, Mame, geez. did you watch one of them? I did, actually. A- and what did you think? Um, you it laughed was, till you stopped? I laugh. Good. That a la- You <laughs> laugh. That is <laughs> singular. You know what? You know what? It's all I ask for. <laughs> Some are funnier than others. Look, I workshop them myself. So <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> and what's funny in my mind, girl. It's funny in your mind. It's funny it's in my funny. mind. Yeah. May not be funny to everybody else. <laughs> it's funny in my mind. <laughs> Oh, Lord, my pizza's on its way. Hey, Mame. <laughs> yes. She got to go, girl. She got to go. Yes. Did you know that we have Patreon? Yeah. Dear yes. listeners, you go to Patreon.com. Mims of Mame, you can throw us some money in. Mame, you know what we're getting ready to start? What are we getting ready to start? That's right. We are getting ready to start. We object. It is a... Starting off as a Patreon-only podcast with video, eventually it's going to be a live podcast everywhere else, but our patrons, our dear patrons, all of you, no matter your level, will get access. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mame. Yes? Did you know we have another podcast? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's right. It's called Making Sugar. <laughs> you could at least help a little more, not just... Yeah, yeah. It's called Making Sugar. It's a Design Women podcast. Hey, Mame. Yes? Did you know we have merchandise? Yes. Don't lie to me. Dear listeners, if you go to businessmame.com, you can buy a few things. Hey, Mame. Yes. Do you know what I love? Five star reviews. And pizza. Domino's, if you want to sponsor us, anytime, baby. But that's right, dear listeners. I love five stars reviews. If you like us, you love us, you want some more of us. Leave us one. It helps. Hey, Mame. Yes. Do you have anything else to add? What? Do you have anything else to add? Let's just see. Um, No, go enjoy your pizza, I guess. Uh, Okay. Say goodnight, Mame. Goodnight, Mame. Bye, (laughs) y'all.